Okay, so continuing from where we have left off, we have our config files in place and you no know, migrations are in place you know, from our own package. So why don't we um, get started and create a very basic CRUD for you know this audit and you know, then move ahead. So I'll go inside my packages source and I'll have a file called audit.php okay and my namespace will be this is survey slash models extends should extend model right not eloquent mm, authenticable why don't we create i'll just get confused so i'll just see okay it's model not eloquent so that's okay i'll extend model i'll just remove it and in here extends model okay and yeah so i can push almost anything okay i haven't done anything special in there um yeah now the model is ready why don't we get started with some of the views in here we'll keep it very simple uh let me pull up bootstrap and for those who have a basic understanding of you know laravel and templating i think you know um, you guys will find it a little repeating but uh, because i wanted to go step by step so i thought why don't we you know just you know basically touch everything which is there so and i'm keeping it simple for now um uh, inside template i will have my let's call it html dot blade dot php okay and this is in place i'll just stick everything here um cross origin anonymous i'll keep it as it is container content i'll yield it and that should be fine i think i'm not pulling jquery so for now let's just keep the two CSS. I think that should be more than enough. I'm not doing anything JavaScript as of now. Okay, so yeah, we have the basic template ready. Why don't we check our route once? It says get survey controller. Go into survey controller. We are uh, returning these two views. So now it will become extends. Uh, what do we have? um it will be survey um and inside survey uh, this is survey index no sorry uh, template dot html this is the extends and then section i'll have the same content and section just indent it and this is right here and i'll do the same thing in here let's see if it is coming properly so yeah it's here and we have this hmm, this is not getting affected test right so test dot blade dot php this is test this is from the default view all right so what we have done is inside resources views um this is vendor right and inside this i have this file and that's why it is getting you know overridden so why don't we just simply uh, remove this folder that should be fine yeah so we have test and we have you know the survey index now 
fine we'll create a test pa uh, page called route get um, add and we have it add go inside this add just copy this mm, what is the name of our view survey add okay um i don't need this survey add um survey index i'll just copy this paste it into into this particular folder okay so i have this um h1 h2 tag add a new survey okay and i'm returning this uh, in survey survey dash add okay let's just go to our url okay something wrong class route i did something wrong so route okay so we have the page ready i don't need the provider anymore this is my file um let's put that inside a dev row call sm12 okay and i'll repeat the same thing here and just add this okay now i have this form a very simple one so form tag action i'll do it later method is post um i need the csrf field i have i have a shortcut bootstrap form so for what do we have we have a name user id checklist id and is published so let's go for name first and so by default let's say every thing is published by default and user id let us have that base form mm. label is it i don't think for checkbox there is a thing required let me just quickly see the checkout is directly like this right so why don't we copy that name is published publish the survey okay and let's see how it is coming up that's fine um, just have a button okay and create a route which is store it will be a post route save survey okay and i'll copy this in my form here route this okay so my form action will be going to this url method is post i have this field and these two three things in here i need to write the store method store request dollar request and why don't we initially return the entire request and see whether we are getting it properly or not and we do so published is on and what if i don't select that so i don't have published that's fine so i think um, i'm getting the name and the published in place so let's add a little bit of validation 